Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen you, a few weeks. Um, we're glad to be back uh, doing our live devotional this morning and uh, concluding uh, chapter three of Colossians and then moving into chapter four. Um, we have a men's breakfast this Saturday at nine o'clock and then at 10 o'clock um, we're having or holding a membership class in the uh, vestry. So um, I know some of you um, who watch this uh, and attend regularly are uh, interested in membership. So uh, we would invite you to come to the class uh, Saturday morning uh, at 10 o'clock. Uh, of course, uh, Sunday uh, the 5th, the first Sunday of, um, of February, uh, we have our 930 traditional and contemporary a service at 11 o'clock, which includes, of course, Children's Chapel. Uh, we had our annual meeting uh, this past Sunday and uh, are thankful that, um, you know, the budget passed and the officers uh, that were nominated were all elected. And um, so anyway, um, grateful for those of you who uh, participated and uh, we look to uh, moving forward in a new year and uh, very excited about all those things. Um, uh, we're going to talk about rules for Christian households, as uh, talked about uh, by Paul in Colossians uh, chapter 3 into 4, beginning with uh, verse uh, verse 18. Uh, wives, submit to husbands as is fitting in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and do not be harsh with them. Children, obey your parents in everything, for this pleases the Lord. Fathers, do not provoke your children, lest they become discouraged. Bond servants, uh, obey your um, obey in everything. Excuse me, those who are earthly masters, not by way of eye service, as people pleasers, but with sincerity of heart, fearing the Lord. And whatever you do, work heartily, as for the Lord and not for men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward. You are serving the Lord Christ, for the wrongdoer will be paid back for the wrong he has done. And there is no partiality. Masters, treat your bond servants justly and fairly, knowing that you also have a master in heaven. So that's the word of the Lord. So uh, this is uh, rules for Christian households. It's uh, what are our responsibilities in a family? Uh, what are our responsibilities as a husband, as a wife, as a child? Uh, as a moms and dads, uh, and or as a servant, again, in the context, you know, of Paul's day. Um, I know I watched uh, Downton Abbey for many years and the different kind of paid servants that they had there. Uh, but I guess some of this would be applicable if you were the lord of the manor and you had servants, uh, you would treat them right. But it's about relationships. It's about uh, responsibilities what are our responsibilities and what is our motivation um, as we uh, interact uh, in our familial uh, settings, our family settings, uh, and in other relationships? Uh, what is our motivation? What are our responsibilities? And of course, he tells us our responsibilities uh, as a uh, you know, in the marriage, um, the husband has been given uh, headship of the home. Uh, but Ephesians 5, uh, 21 and following also reiterates that that should not be abused. In fact, uh, Ephesians 5, 21 reminds uh, husband and wife that there is uh, mutual submission in many areas of marriage. Um, but the husband is held accountable uh, by the Lord as the head of the home. Um, and husbands here are told uh, they should never be uh, harsh with their wives. They should love them. Again, Ephesians says not only should a husband love his wife, but he should be uh, loving uh, their wives as Christ loved the church. And, of course, Jesus laid down his life for the church, and a husband may be called upon to do that uh, for his wife. So that's a strong love that's being talked about there. And uh, children uh, are to obey their parents because it pleases the Lord. Fathers are not to exasperate, I think, in the King James, their children should not discourage them. And uh, so, uh, you know, how moms and dads uh, treat their children uh, is somewhat addressed here and again uh, in Ephesians 5. And then he gets into servants and uh, their relationships. And of course, we usually uh, in modern times would uh, 
use uh, employee employer relationship, you know, that we, um, if we're the employee, that we give a fair day's work uh, for our wages, uh, but the employer should not abuse um, their, their workers. So, um, and there's one other thought as to, um, you know, our motivation. And that, of course, is that uh, we are serving the Lord primarily. And so we do this as unto the Lord. Verse 23, whatever you do as a husband, wife, child, father, servant, uh, do it heartily as unto the Lord. And uh, then again, um, in verse uh, 24, you are serving Christ. That is your motivation because you serve Jesus. And so um, we could spend more time on this, uh, but um, you may wish to uh, delve deeper into this passage. Uh, thanks for being with me today and uh, look forward to seeing you this weekend. Um, we've had great weather. It's supposed to be, I guess, in the 40s Sunday. Uh, miss seeing some of you. I hope that uh, you'll become, uh, again, more active in your worship with us as we worship the Lord together. God bless you all and have a great day. Bye now.